By end of this video, you will be able to convert your picture from this to this and this one into this. Just stick around till the end. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now I'm in Photoshop and I have this picture. And I also have one of the most famous and best Photoshop plugin called William Academy Retouch Panel by Tamara Williams Academy. At the end of this video, I will show you how you can also get this plugin so watch till the end. Now let me show you how it works. You can just click this green color magic wand tool to open the retouch panel. So at the top of the panel it has helping layers which is pretty useful. It has solar curve and dozen bone help layer which can help you to see something uneven in the picture like stray hairs, unbalanced lighting or skin imperfections. I'm not going to use it in this video so let's just delete it. As you can see in this picture, facial shape is almost invisible. Everything is flat and looks so boring. To fix this issue, all you have to do is go to this retouch panel. In the dodge and bond section, you can use any of these tools and I'm going to choose macro. It will create two layers, one for fixing bright area and one for fixing dark area. To do that, just click to the layer mask of the top layer and then adjust the opacity. I'm going to keep it at 19. Adjust the brush size. Then start painting over like this with the brush tool and it will darken it. Let's do it in another side of the nose. And as you can see now it has a shape and it looks nice. Let's do this on other parts of the face where it need to be darkened. You can use different opacity to deal with different lighting. Look at this, how easily the face got a shape and looks 3D. And after that, click the layer mask of the pores. Adjust the opacity and paint it over the area where it needed to be brightened. Let's reduce the opacity of both layers. And there you have it. This is before and this is after. Look how much differences it makes. Now it's time for something amazing. Go to the retouch panel then in the detail section choose iris. It has too many iris process, you can choose any of these which suits your eyes. After selecting, let's adjust the size, make sure highlights layer max is selected and then just click once in the eye. It will highlight that area which is amazing. Let's do the same thing on another eye. You can also change the eye color, just select the iris layer mask and with the best iris brush, simply click to the both eye. And then easily change the eye color. Now let's fix unwanted changes just by selecting the group mask and painting it with black color brush. Isn't this cool? Let me show you another magical feature. In the detail section there is another brush tool called lashes. It has tons of different lashes, I am selecting this one. And with the perfect brush size, create a lash just like that. Do the same in other eye. Don't forget to check flip X box.
isn't this amazing? For the lower area, select the preferred less and then adjust the size of it. Then simply make a less like this. And again do the same in other eye. And look how lasses can make your eyes look like just wow. Improving your photo with freckles is a great way to give your skin more depth and texture. This retouch panel makes it super easy. Here is how. Click on the freckle button to open 25 different freckle styles. Choose the one that fits your image and start painting on the blank layer. If you want to adjust the freckles placement, use a regular black brush on the white max layer to remove any freckles you don't want. Enhancing or changing lip color is effortless with lips tool. Just go to the color correction and choose lips. Start click on the black mask, then use the lip selection tool and paint over the lips with soft white brush. Then go to the darker lips layer and change the color of the lips if you want. You can also use colorful lips layer. Let's reduce the opacity because I don't want it too much. Adding blush to an image can bring it to life. To do this, simply click on the blush button in the panel. Then using a white brush, paint on the black mask in the areas where you want to add on your model's face. You have complete control over the intensity and appearance of the blush. Feel free to adjust the opacity of your brush to get the desired effect. Speaking of the skin tones, let's move on to the color correction section. Here you will be able to even out every uneven color with the ease of few clicks. Skin tone will turn uneven skin tone into one unity. Simply paint on the black mask with white brush to uncover the areas where you want to correct your skin tone. And there you have it. First we use dozen bun, then iris, lashes, freckles, lips, blush, and finally skin tone. This is before and this is after. I have a picture of a lady with lot of skin blemishes on her face that seem difficult to remove. I'm going to try using the Williams Academy Retouch Panel to make it better. First I will go to the texture section and select the sport healing brush tool, which will create a layer. I will use this tool to remove small blemishes. It's amazing and works perfectly for small spots. I can also use the healing brush tool by holding down ALT to take a sample and then painting over the red spots. However, these tools might not work well for the larger amount of blemishes on her face. But don't worry, I have a solution. I will go to the texture section and choose AI. Then I will simply paint over the blemishes. And when I am done, I will click to apply. It will generate three different images of that area. The first one looks nice. And then I will slightly reduce the opacity. However, you can see it's not perfect and the texture doesn't look right. One of the best way to fix this issue is through frequency separation. In the frequency separation menu, I will choose Gaussian blur. Next go to the high frequency texture copy and use the clone stamp tool to correct any bad textures like scars, lines or spots. Finally head to the correcting tones layer and select the mixture brush tool. Make sure the high frequency texture layer is turned off and in the option menu ensure sample all layers is checked.
Then adjust the brush setting and flow. Begin painting over the areas you want to fix the texture and skin tone. After you finish, simply turn on the high frequency texture layer. You can also reduce the opacity of the correcting tones layer. Now take a look at this. If this is not amazing, I don't know what is. Let's compare the picture before and after using the Williams Academy Retouch panel. This is mind blowing. And that's all for today. If you want to get this plugin, just go to your browser and search for tamarawilliams.net or you can find the link in the description of this video. Once on the website, if you want to download the last Photoshop process, just click on it. Then make the purchase by providing your details at checkout, including your email address. They will send the download file to your email and you can easily download and install it in your Photoshop. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.